This episode is sponsored in part by Lucky Duck Games. Check out all their games, Jetpack, Joyride, Mutants, and Paranormal Detectives. Happy New Year! This is Kevin Delp with Tantrum House at Studio D. Today we're going to be talking about board games launching the second half of January 2020 on Kickstarter. And since it's a new year, I thought we'd do some giveaways. So uh, we have Witching Hour and Bees. Check back at the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can enter for a chance to win one of these games. First, I wanted to mention a couple campaigns that I missed for my last video. Forbidden Games already launched Dungeon Party, a game for 2-8 to eight players. It's a flicking adventure game. On January 13th, we'll see Dungeon Ball. Well, what do monsters do while waiting on heroes to venture into the dungeon? Of course, they're playing Dungeon Ball. It's a lightweight family game for one or two players that takes about 30 minutes to play. It's what happens when you cross King of Tokyo with Blood Bowl and a little hint of NFL Blitz. Oath from Leader Games launches January 14th. It's for one to five players. It has some area majority influence, some area of movement, and card drafting. We'll see a second addition to Micro City on January 15th, a game for one to two players. It's a city building game. Also on January 15th, Doptail Incorporated launches Grenda Search for Lost Triumphs, a game for two to four players. It takes about one to two hours to play. It's a miniature game has competitive play and co-op play, it has exploration, war, area control, set collection, and more. On January 18th, Medfan Games launches Wave 3 of Astraeus Tamora. On January 20th, Peterson Games launches Glorantha, the Gods of War 2. It's a universe that's in turmoil, the gods themselves in conflict. You, as one of Glorantha's powerful elemental forces, must seize the reins of power and save or destroy the cosmos. These next few launch on January 21st. Gray Fox Games launches Tortuga 2199. We have a prototype here that you're looking at. It's for two to four players, takes about one to an hour and a half to play. It's a deck building exploration area control game. You are a pirate captain of a spaceship and your objective is to become the most powerful captain and have all of the disunited pirate clans join your cause. You're going to upgrade your ship, explore, fight space beasts, and more. Migration Mars, you've been chosen to be one of the four sponsored factions in a race to establish the first permanent colony to Mars. Your objective is to explore and unlock assets to grow and sustain your colony. The larger it becomes, Earth will migrate more citizens to you. The first player to reach the target population will win the governorship of Mars. Genius Games launches Genotype, a Mendelian genetics game. This is a game for two to five players that I had mentioned in a previous video last year, but the launch got delayed to January. 25th Century Games launches Jurassic Parts. It's a small box area enclosure and set collection tile game for two to four players. It takes about 15 to 30 minutes to play, featuring dinosaurs. The game is designed by Kevin Lansing and illustrated by Andrew Bosley. Winsmith Games launches 10 Gallon Tank, a casual family weight split and choose game for two to five players. As a hobby aquarist, you split and drop the best groups of fish for the most aesthetically pleasing aquarium. Meet the aquarium goal for bonus points and maybe snag the rare treasure chest. Ludus Magna Studio will be relaunching DEI Divide et Impera, a game for two to four players. It takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play. Now I know this is technically not a board game, but Quiver Time is launching Citadel, a deck of block carrying case. On January 27th, Phalanx Games launches a Rocketman, a game for 1 to 4 players, takes about 30 to 90 minutes to play, designed by Martin Wallace. And these next few launch on January 28th, Paranoia Rising Games launches Vigilante, a superhero game for 3 to 6 players, takes about 45 to 120 minutes to play. Formal Ferret Games launches The Rival Networks, a standalone two player version of the networks. This is a mock up of the box cover, not the real one. We'll see an expansion to It's a Wonderful World that brings some new mechanisms and takes it to six players. 
Strain Space Games launches an expansion to Arcane Alley, Moonstruck Market, that introduces the werewolf Madame Moonstruck and her traveling market. It adds new wizards, new items, and more. You'll use the marketplace to browse and purchase goods for your storehouse, make use of new items to complete sets, and use the ever-changing moon phases to gain moonstruck effects and empower your existing items. On January 30th, we'll see Galaxy in Crisis. It looks like a space game, but I don't know anything about the game. Towards the end of January, we'll see Crowd Games launching Deep State New World Order, a game for two to four players. This is a hand management set collection game. These next few launch sometime in January, I'm just not exactly sure when. Artificial Kidney Games launches Battle Beaties, a game for two to five players. It's a card drafting game to help people learn more about diabetes. Rattlebox Games launches Hindsight 2020. It's a real-time co-op dice drafting puzzle game for one to four players. AP Board Games launches Tourist. It's a cooperative worker placement game. Mountain Gold Games launches Mini Rogue. It is a nine card game for one player. And Deadeye from Pleasant Company Games is a post-apocalyptic adventure game for one player. And I thought the next campaign from Kaman would be Ankh, Gods of Egypt, but it looks like it's going to be Marvel United. It's a chibi-styled miniature game, and they're teaming up with Spin Master to do it. A quick shout out to one of our episode sponsors, GameFound. They're a free-to-use pledge manager. It helps creators with the fulfillment side after the Kickstarter ends. It allows for late pledges, and it's a lot easier of handling for customer data, which is great. It's one of the fastest growing pledge managers out there with over 200,000 unique users. So check out more information at GameFound.com, or you can email them at business at GameFound.com, and I'll put those links in the description below. So Tantrum House will be doing some videos uh, from the list that I just talked about. Dungeon Ball, Dungeon Party. We are also doing Tortuga 2199 from Gray Fox Games, Migration Mars, Jurassic Parts. Hopefully we're going to get Genotype. You can talk to Genius Games about that. And the Arcane Alley expansion. Maybe a couple more. So you can check those out on our channel in the coming weeks. Or maybe they're already live. Uh, so these two games from Indie Boards and Cards. This is Action Phase, which has now been acquired from Indie Boards. So you can enter for a chance to win these games by commenting in this video with, let's see, some of your gaming, your New Year's gaming resolutions. If you have any, uh, tell me what your New Year's gaming resolutions are. I'd love to hear what those are. And uh, you'll be entered for a chance to win a Witching Hour or Bees. So we'll have two winners in this video. And I'll give you a couple weeks and I will pick randomly from the list of commenters well as always thank you for watching this video check out all our other videos and we would love for you to subscribe to tantrum house and don't forget that tantrum con is right around the corner we'd love to see you here in south carolina lots of giveaways and board gaming going on meeple realty is a new sponsor if you're not familiar with what they do they focus on making amazing inserts and organizers for board games check this one out for quacks of quedlinburg I'll put a link in the description of the video.